What's up, everyone? First off, Happy New Year to all of y'all. I hope it's been a good one to you. And if not, next year will probably be better for you. Now, it's come to my attention that I've been, you know, watching some New Year's videos of people, and I gotta say, some people's New Year's, or some people's years, not that great. Some people's 2017, okay. Other people, best year they ever had. For me, I gotta say I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm not saying it's the worst year I ever had, but I'm not saying it's the best. There are a couple of things that could have been, that could have gone better. I mean, you guys, if you've been following me for at least a year, I talked about how I was this close from losing this eye. I'm not out of the woods yet. I still take drops three times a day. I got another doctor's appointment coming up. 15th of the first month. You know, I just, I want to be done with my eye. I'd like it to be at the point where it's like, you know, Mr. Creedon, you're doing all right. Your eye's fine. I don't think we could help you anymore. I know that's not right. I know that's not the best possibility. All the doctors have the best intentions in mind. So that's okay. I know you guys have seen my grades. I've talked about that before. You know, great grades this last semester. And decent grades the semester before, the spring semester. But, you know, I had a stroke that year. And, well, my grades starting out when I was stressed and I had my stroke were pitiful. I was hopeful that I could just get C-pluses all through, you know, just... At least a C minus through every class. Didn't happen. I did better. C minus was my lowest grade and it was in Spanish. You guys have watched the Spanish videos probably. And well, that's over. You know, I came through in this semester and just kept my focus. Just kept. I've got three hours for a lunch break. Let's take five minutes, eat lunch, grab something to drink, and then. Take down your notes and there you go. Study on the way home. Uh, let's see. Summer was difficult for me. I, I fell in love, but not in the best way possible. I judged a person. I judged this woman a little too harsh after I heard a backstory. And, well, then, like a moron... You know, judging her for past indiscretions and other things. I wanted to know more. I really did like her. Couldn't get her off my mind. She wasn't returning my calls or my texts. And my buddy in class originally liked her anyway, so. So that's why I was kind of walking around, you know, head in the oven. But, how things come to an end. Uh, that was kind of my reasoning for trying to become healthy, trying to become more muscular. But, you know, maybe that was a good goal with the worst, with not the best of intentions for not the best, like, not the best reasons. But compared to other people's videos that I've been watching, I'd say I'd have had a pretty good year. 2018 is not going to be anything else to fear. I'll be graduating, hopefully. I'll be running right into the work world, too. You know, my mom says take a little bit of time to vacation and adjust, but I want to get that money. I'd like to move out of my mom's house. I'd like to have my own place. Come up with a better transportation solution than paratransit, because in an upcoming video, you guys will hear why I don't really like paratransit, which is the handicapped version, which is, you know, public transportation. Especially motive, especially uh, modified for handicapped people. But it's whatever. I can't really do anything right now about that. You know. But I guess just look forward to 2018. Another thing. You guys know who I am, and I'm pretty sure I know who I am to you guys. I'm that guy who sometimes makes you laugh, 
sometimes makes you think. I drive a lot, and collect cars, got a great collection so far, and it's not ending. There's more cars coming out. There's cars that I need to catch up on. You know, the Matchbox 2018 100 Years of uh, Chevrolet is out. Went to go buy those, but my store got somebody beat me to the punch. What can you do? So, but all in all, I can't really complain. Well, I could, but what's the use? You know, things I complain about are stupid. You know, living with my mom. I think a lot of you guys really wouldn't mind living with your parents, especially if you had a situation as good as mine. Yeah, I share a room with my brother. And I gotta keep my collection and par part of my collections in the storage unit. Part of it's down underneath my bed right here. But who cares? I still have room and I can still collect. Still have money to collect. You know? It's just one of those things. I still have good friends around me. And 2018, that's not going to change. Now, I mean, the December here is not to my liking. It's pretty cold. You know, you're getting 20 degree days, 19 degree days, 18 degrees. Could be worse. Could be Canada. Could be made with, like, negative three the past couple of days. But, uh, just saying, I think I made it out pretty well out of 2018 now for me there's still about like another half hour almost maybe a little bit more than a half hour but yeah I mean 2018 is going to be a different year for me I'd like it to go smoothly you know I'd like it to go like the ending of 2017 where it was like you know I know I see the whole course ahead of me I'll just go right in drive right through it but who knows you know future is uncertain I guess I really should for the future start scripting these videos I mean I have a basic outline and a basic idea of what I want to do in my videos and what I want to talk about even in the trucking talks which are supposed to be kind of like spontaneous but I really do have a skeleton of what I want to write, or not really write, but what I want to say. Um, another thing I hope to do for 2018 is get some more content. I mean, my buddy and I, my buddy Mike and I have always been kicking this idea around since we were in high school about kind of going outside of school and having like our own little cool podcast to post up on a YouTube channel and maybe make that into something we could do for a living, but... That's a long ways away, making it into a living. It's fun as a hobby. But I'd like to do something like that for you guys. We're supposed to be going to the Philadelphia Auto Show, since we don't live that far. And, you know, we're supposed to videotape that. Not really tape it, but record it. You guys know what I mean. So that'll be fun. I mean, me and him, we just work really well together. We're always joking about stuff. We're always laughing. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll be a little bit more open about things, but how how open can you be to the point where it feels like you're just dumping on people? And I don't like to be that guy who just dumps on people because after a while, there's only so much you can take. Everybody's like a glass, my grandfather used to say. It only takes so much and then you overflow. Then you gotta get out. You gotta get rid of it somehow. So. Is there anything else I want to say? You know, these end of the year videos. Or these certain holiday coming up videos are hard for me. Because I feel like after I get them recorded. There's always so much more I want to say. But. Sometimes the best... Sometimes you can't really say everything you want to say. Uh, oh, yeah. So, going back to the first world problem of liking this girl who doesn't like me back. You know, I'm standing there, I'm sitting there, and 
uh, North Carolina in this wonderful beach resort that my cousin had rented a house and I'm up every day at 6 in the morning doing exercise and you know pretty much living like I'm in prison it's kind of what inspired the shirt <laughs> so but yeah pretty much living every day like I'm in prison waking up at like 6 in the morning going out and exercising before getting breakfast and then you know hanging out with them but it's just the thing I realize is sitting alone in a room by yourself well of course sitting alone with nothing but your thoughts not always the best thing your mind starts racing you start reflecting on stuff and that's probably how this video was born to tell you the truth back here by myself watching other people's videos and trying not to trying not to feel bad for them because I mean you know I watched one person and they're like yeah I kind of had a this year was my hardest I got to look into my mental health and then another person's like yeah the last couple of months really weren't the greatest for me and it's like after a point you you I don't know after a point I'm like well I guess I made it out okay and then other things have been eating at me you know I see a lot of my friends from way back when who maybe weren't my friends maybe just got close because in a classroom of 30 people you're close and I look at them and I see their lives and it's like you know what you graduated high school but or not high school you graduated from college but yet you're not really working in an office setting you're making average you live alone you know that's what I want I want the full independence and maybe I'll never get my full independence because I'll probably have to rely on public transportation is that really the worst thing probably not do I care depends on the day you know if I have to wait half an hour or an hour in 20 degree weather yeah of course I care but when it's the summertime or springtime and it's nice at school and I can wait outside, it's no problem. It could be like 15 minutes late to 5 hours late. I won't care as long as the weather stays nice. But Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this rambling on of my little wrap up of 2017. I hope your 2017 wasn't that bad. And trust me, I don't think mine's as bad as it made it out to sound. 2018, it's going to be a whole different year. You can make the change you want, guys. You can ins you can influence whatever you want. So, well, I'll see you later. This video is probably already marked for uh, unsuitable for some advertisers. So, not that that bothers me anyway. But my Christmas video got <laughs> hit with a. Uh, not suitable for all advertisers. I don't do it for the money like you all know. I just do it for the fun. I do it to see people's reactions. I love getting comments from you. I love just seeing how many people watched. But alright, later guys.